I'd like to do a quick video on um, how I pack my rucksack these days or how I pack my Bergen these days and um, I've been doing it this way that I'm just about to show you uh, for about 20 years now the same way all the time and uh, I'm not saying it's the best way I'm just saying it's my way and um, about five years before that um, I was doing daytime hikes in my local area which was the Brecon Beacons and uh, the time before that was military so uh, and I can't I can't remember how I uh, packed my Bergen in the military is too too long ago and it was a different situation anyway so uh, but um, I'll show you how I pack my rucksack these days oh and by the way it weighs about uh, 12 kilograms I, I could get a bit a little bit lighter uh, that's 27 pounds in weight so uh, let's have a look <laughs> just a couple of things I forgot to mention um, the, the weight of the Bergen is only the gear there's no food and water okay it's just the weight of the gear and um, the other thing is uh, the way I'm showing you how I pack it is only for the weekend um, uh, I could go actually up to seven days without spare clothes because I'm not including spare clothes in this video so uh, that's not including jungle or anything like that it's just UK or Europe or whatever you know that sort of climate um, so yeah so it's only the weekend do a couple of days or something so uh, I suppose I, I could go up to seven days but without spare clothes but uh, after that you start to, <laughs> you start to smell like the land I suppose start to whiff a bit start to pong so uh, you need to book into a campsite and get some hot water on your body then <laughs> so uh, yeah so just let's have a look see what I got Okay, first off, uh, one of the side pouches, all I got is stuffed in there is my tent and my tent pegs and the poles if they fit in and it's not in a sausage bag or anything, it's just shoved in. Um, this particular tent, um, I can't get my uh, poles in so they're too long when they're folded up so I've put them, the poles in with my roll mat. Uh, but that's it, if I got a bivy bag I'll just shove it in and that's that really, that's the one pouch okay next up the other side pocket is my warm clothing so that can consist of a wool jumper and something that goes over the top of the wool jumper like a fleece jacket or a body warmer like a puffer body warmer and my hat is in there as well so it, it, most of the time it'll be on my head and I got my gloves and scarf there that'll be on the outside so uh, that's what I got in my other pouch side pouch Okay, what goes in the top lid? It's this lot here, which is not this rock. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, it's this flint and steel. 
uh, these couple of bags and uh, they've got my first aid kit there and um, a whistle attached to the zip of the first aid kit in this tin is water purification tablets and a little button compass uh, just behind there's a bit of toilet paper and I've got a couple of lighters there and in this bag I've got some spare laces there brown laces uh, a lighter my phone and behind the phone is a some spare rubber rings for uh, the Trangia spirit burner and in this container here this 35 millimeter container uh, camera container is um, Three spare AAA batteries and a couple of spongy uh, ear defenders. Now, in this one here, I've got my compass, all protected. Although through the day, I have that in my pocket, but for now, it's in there. It's actually a Sunto uh, Global with a protective cover on the top, and I've got my spare batteries for the camera pen knife and a head torch so that box goes in the top lid Now these individual items will go in different places. Uh, the towel, little quick drying, very absorbent towel, will go in there. And the machete, the K-bar BK Becker 9, will go down there, just slot down there. There's a little pocket in there that it'll stop, it won't fall through. So that'll go in there. The uh, Millbank bag will go in there. This little flat pocket, just in there, and just right out the way, especially when it's wet. And the Sawyer Mini, which is uh, another water filter, that will go on the other side of the pocket, slotted down there in the pocket in that little pocket on the side of the body probably can't see that i don't know but there's a little pocket in there and it'll go in there out the way so uh that's that lot Okay, this stuff here goes in the main compartment. Now, uh, I, I mentioned before about spare clothes. For a weekend, I don't, I'm not going to carry them. Um, it's only up to about seven days or so. Maybe a bit less, depending on how hot it is. Uh, but anyway, the next step... Oh, by the way, the spare clothes would go in first on the bottom of the rucksack. 
but the next step would be sleeping bag that would go in next and then I'd roll this water bladder up and then sort of shove it down the side there and then uh, I've got a washing kit in here it's um there's no shaving kit because I'm not out long enough if I'm out a longer time I'll get a slightly bigger bag like this and put shaving kit in as well uh, got a bit of brew kit there got this bag with um, my titanium spoon and a bit of a stirrer there spatula thing a tiny knife and fork I don't use much really and a little salt and pepper thing down there uh, my fuel a grid that goes down the water bladder part of um, the rucksack and um, I'm I've got a little chopping board as well I'm going to put down there as well and my cooker whatever that is whatever cooker I'm carrying that actually is a solo stove light with the pot that goes with it and a little canvas cover uh, there you go so that's the stuff that goes in the main compartment Okay, inside this cover that I made myself um, is my Thermarest mat and I've also got my tent pegs as well in there because they're about from there to about there and they're a bit long for the side pouch. There you are, that one there. So that's the next to go on. And this bad boy, my water bottle made of titanium and the mug and the lid that goes with it. This goes on the outside of my jacket, slung over my shoulder and one arm. Okay, and uh, that's how I pack my rucksack. So uh, thanks for watching and see you again on the next one, hopefully. So cheers. Bye.